I wanted to talk with you very quickly about installment plans or payment plans and making sure that you have a clause in your purchase terms that addresses what happens when a fail payment is made. So we are talking about this paragraph right here that says installment or payment plans. When the buyer agrees to the purchase of company's materials as part of an installment or payment plan and a payment fails, the buyer will lose all access to the product under the termination paragraph. Company will make reasonable attempts to notify buyer that the payment has failed. When you are offering payment options, one of those is payment plans. So let's say three monthly payments of $99 or 12 monthly payments of $100. Those are not subscription payments. Those are payment plans or installment plans. And you need to make sure that in your contract, as part of thinking through your worst case scenarios, that you're addressing those. One of those worst case scenarios when you're offering a payment plan is someone pays for, let's say, three out of the 12. Well, depending on the system that you're using to run your programs, I happen to use Kajabi, I can revoke the access when payments fail. So I wanna make sure that I have a paragraph that says, yes, you are on the payment plan, and if your payment fails, I will obviously make reasonable attempts to notify you, but when they don't make the payment, I want to make sure that I've legally covered myself in terms of revoking or taking that product out of their library that they have as part of their account with the platform that I am using. So hopefully that gives you food for thought in terms of making sure that you are legally covering yourself when you're offering installment or payment plans as part of your purchases. If you have any questions, please let me know. I am here to be your solid shortcut. Otherwise, have fun, get it done, and I will talk to you again really soon. Bye-bye.